host, Three Plains Tommy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Holding It Down with Three Plates Tommy. Right here today, we got a special show for you guys. Some music, you know, we're going to jam out, have a good ass time. Uh, we got, you know, it feels like I got one of the homies here. We've been talking and hey, having hey, a good hey, ass hey. time right here. But, right. you know, uh, everyone, this is Scrizzy Santana. Hey. And thank you for being here and doing no, the show with us, dog. Thank you for letting me be here, man. This is a great, a huge opportunity for me. I'm, I'm excited to be here, man. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Really. I fucking... Uh, been watching like your your music yeah, and, yeah. and uh, your other interviews and stuff that yeah, you've been yeah, yeah. on and it's fucking dope dog like you're you know a local yeah that just started making music and yeah fucking man. let's just jam out and, and fucking you're doing it dog yeah. you're fucking what what you're uh you're from afinarte well music, yes or, yes well, or you're affiliated with them well i'm i'm on the label artefino which is like the sister label afinarte okay you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like because afinarte is more regional music and we're more like hip-hop you know reggaeton little trap yeah here, you know what i'm saying he's trying like, to start something a little the same but it's different yeah you know? how'd you how'd you how'd that all start or how how would like how'd you start what what the <laughs> fuck uh you know like well, what got you into making music and ah, then fucking make, did you jam since you were little yeah or? yeah well all what happened shit. is that my pops and my uncles they had a group called los brisos oh, okay okay and this i grew up with them just jamming every monday wednesdays and fridays and then the weekends were the gigs yeah so i would go with my dad help him set up every you know yeah. all the time so eventually i just i just love music man i just always surrounded by music hey, since i was man since I, as long as i can like remember you, yeah you as long as grow. i can remember i know my dad had a group and we always had one room that had the fucking the drums the bass everything fucking you know yes, everything, 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 everything that's everything. where that was my i'd rather be home than outside yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying? yeah like that's, that's cool. how i was you know so at first my pops he always lacked a drummer I don't know why, but it's always a drummer. Yeah. So my pops taught me how to drum. Okay. But he didn't tell he didn't teach me how to drum like, you know, like drum. He taught me how to drum like corridos. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, zapateados and cumbias, you know? That's yeah. how I started, you know? Yeah. That's how the love of music started, bro. And from there I just I don't know. I just loved it so much that I just kept going. Yeah. You know, like I it, I got intrigued to the guitar because my dad was the guitar player of his group. It's in the blood, it's dog. In the blo yeah, I don't like, know. Like shit, that shit, <laughs> fucking since I was little, yes, dog. Yes. I fucking all my life, all my life. Yes, yeah, I fucking all my life. played. Yes. That's what's tight. Like, you know, you played music. Yes. You fucking always around it because yes. there's fools that they were in there, and maybe you have brothers or some shit. Yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. you'll be like, I'm the only motherfucker that plays music. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. Well, and, I got two sisters, and they play or no? No, my, well, my older sister played for a little bit. My, my but my dad was like more like Selena's dad, like forcing her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, like, was kind of like, but yeah. she did like it, but she just didn't even got like to be forced to do it, you know, kind of stuff. But she does like music, but I'm the only one that actually really loved it and generally yeah. took off with it, you know. And and you just play fucking guitar? You nah, know how to play all man. That shit? I play I play drums. I play guitar. I play piano. I mean, I I play a little bit of everything, man. Yeah. You know, I just love music in general. That's fucking you know? tight. So, so, so ever, you've all, ever, you've always been jamming. Always, man. I've had my first my first group. I had in like sixth grade, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I like, taught all those guys how to play it. And it was all youngsters. <laughs> it was all of it was all the guys in my class. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> fucking tight, though. You know what I'm saying? So You're like, oh fuck it. And you guys were play fucking. Yeah, like we all just, corridos. No, nah, no, nah, we were into like back then. It was all into like that that rock shit, you know, like whatever was that popping like at the time. shit or anything. Yeah. You guys well, ever played that shit? We played like White Stripes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. all that stuff. Dun, but I, dun, I, dun, yeah, yeah, dun, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Motherfuckers getting lucky. Yeah, they don't ever yeah. thought they're fucking good, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's how that's how I started. But then I went into like hard rock, like. You know, like Credence, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like all, all that stuff. And, and fucking and got on. I just got... You, were, you had your rockero fucking... Yes, I had my little ro rockero kind of, you know, stage, the, I guess you could say, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But because my pops listened to like the Beatles and shit yeah. and all that. So then I started... All the, the motherfuckers Beatles. played like... Yes. <laughs> Ofu's older pops and shit. Yes, like, yes. They fucking know all those Beatles all yes. day. Mm -hmm. My fucking... My uncle, he's a... Uh, like my uncle's all quiet, dog, yeah. and and but I guess back in the day, this motherfucker used to dance, and hey. he was like the fucking the the Sergio, star at the motherfucking Sergio parties. Valedora. Yeah, <laughs> that fool. Like he's like my my dad would be like, no, they, they used to go to the house to go pick this fool up. Like no, even like I say, even to go ahead, because uh, they used to dance in in Juarez. Orale. Like and I guess back in the fucking forties and that shit. 
that's what you would do, fool, is go dance at places. Oh, so really? a lot of those fools, they, they were from Juarez, and they would go to El Paso okay. and to go dance. And that's where the pachucos came from. Yay, they, were, they were like yeah, the yeah, first yeah, yeah. pachucos before, before they were even pachucos. Yay. Like they were, they were, those fools would dance. Okay. And, and they like my uncle, he did swing dancing and all that Yay. shit. And he's like, no, se vistia fucking like pachucos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, but it was, they weren't, they didn't call themselves pachucos back then yeah, because yeah, yeah. pachuco, those fools came from those fools from Juarez. Like yeah. they would all go dance to El Paso and El Paso, they call it chuco, chuco. like El, el Chuco, okay, like el chuco. fools that okay. don't know about El Paso, they, yeah, that's yeah. Chuco town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, they go, vamos, vamos al Chuco, that's, we're going to El Paso. Oh, so yeah, the yeah. fools from Juarez, they're like, pa donde va? Nah, vamos pachuco. Ah. So they would always be like, vamos pachuco. And they were called the Pachucos. Damn. And that's where okay, that fucking word right, came from. Learn everything, and, every, well, learn this is knowledge from my dad. Yeah, that's right. Because my dad would always tell me about my Uncle Memo. He would get, oh, he's yeah. like, no, he, he used to dance really good. Mm. And they, you know how they dance? That shit, like sick yeah. ass swing. Heck yeah. Sick ass horns and yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah. Well, he would do that shit. So they would pick him up. To take him to fucking uh, to uh, he, El Paso. Because he knew he could get the ladies. To, right? Yeah, because yeah. he would get the chicks and he would get it cracky. <laughs> That's right. So they were like, no, we're going to pick him up and he would dance and shit. Well, that, well, my uncle fucking, I went off fucking route, but yeah, yeah. my uncle Memo, he would always fuck with, he fuck with the Beatles. And That's right. He, he fucking, he even showed me, uh, there's this uh, old school man, uh, Pachuco, that he plays a Pachuco boogie, like all the music. Yeah, yeah. His name is Don Tosti. Damn. He has like an orchestra where oh, they play shit. old school fucking boogaloo from the 1940s and shit. Damn. Well, uh, my uncle gave me my first record of fucking Pachuco Boogie. Like, because he, he knew that I liked that little fucking yeah, yeah. movement, the old yeah. cars and yeah, yeah, yeah. the fucking Suavecito yeah, and all that yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, he's like, you ever heard of these fools? And he showed me and he, they sing like... Uh, uh, He's, he has sick uh, Pachuco Boogie and they, the El Tirili where oh, right, they talk about uh, Pachucos back in the day, but that was in 1948. This fucking this music. That's crazy. Bro. So this man uh, Don Tosti, my uncle, he had these records. He gave me that, but he has like all the collection of the Beatles. Damn. And like he has the records of the Beatles that are worth like super feria. I'm sure. And bro. he has like uh, he's sure. like no, aquí tengo las nuevas nuevecita. He tengo las que toco, you know. He yeah, plays yeah. these, and he'll have the good version, and it's like min condition Beatles fucking one record, and I fucking heard that shit's fucking worth like fifty racks or some shit. No man, that's so much for money, dog. Yeah. So this shit's worth feria, and yeah. my uncle he has those records. He has Damn, fucking mad records, bro. and uh, he's a, that's what I'm telling you. Like where you tell me like your yeah, dad yeah. used to bump the Beatles Heck and all yeah, that shit. Man. And uh, yeah, my uncle used to bump the Beatles. Didn't you know when? You know how the fucking Wookies came back, or who came back? The Wookies? Yeah, the Wookies. Yeah. I didn't used to fuck with Wookies that much. Like, <laughs> like my mom and, yeah, yeah, and yeah, them, mom they definitely. did. Yeah, but yeah. you know how a lot of fools are like, "Oh, we're going to fucking the Wookies, dog. I'm gonna get the Wookies." I'm like, "Dog, you fuck with the Wookies, fool? Like, they're just with the hype, fool, because." Like maybe my, you know, your aunt or your yeah, uncles yeah, yeah, and yeah. them or your grandpa, yeah, yeah, he yeah, fuck yeah. with that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ain't nobody fucking with the Wookies, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dog? Hey, that shit's hey, fucking. As, as some... growing up, the Wookies, all I remember is the guy that looks like Jesus. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. it. And you're like, but maybe you'll fucking uh, know a couple of fucking songs here and yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah, yeah. though. The, whatever yeah, yeah. they played on fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what la que buena or yeah, wherever yeah. the fuck you heard this fool? Uh, what yeah. is it, la ranchera? Mm -hmm. But and, fool, ain't nobody fucking with the Wookies and all fools that they fucking paid mad feria for the fucking Wookies tickets probably yeah. were there and they're like, yeah, dog, I should have <laughs> probably not spent this thousand on this <laughs> fucking old ass oh, band, these old men, you know? Because yeah, yeah. maybe one or two songs you know, but fools they ain't fucking with the old songs. <laughs> and uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it goes right, back right. to the grandparents; they know about that yeah. shit. But these fools, you ain't really fucking with the Wookies that much. <laughs> They just be fucking biting or, or yeah. going with the fucking the 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 hype, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the clout chasing the fucking chasing the clout? Yeah, clout chasing yeah, clout or whatever. Chasing, it's the yeah. same shit. Like dog, you ain't nobody fucking with the boogies, fool. <laughs> I tell you right now, I'll fuck with Tucanes. 
Hey, I'll fucking right. you because be like, hey, dog, Tucanes got that shit cracking. Hell yeah. And you yeah. fucking know mad Tucanes songs, Tres yeah. Animales, Hell fucking yeah. La Chona, all that shit. Yeah. And yeah. you know you're going to be at that motherfucking concert like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> moving around. <laughs> <laughs> and then, dog, yeah. but if you go to the Wookiee Talk, you're going to be like, oh, one song, you'll be like, oh, I know this song. And then the other ones, you're going to be like, damn, what the fuck? I'm about to go to sleep. Let me go get a drink. <laughs> Spend another 200 just on getting drinks because you ain't fucking with nothing at the, at the concert, you know? It's like, yeah, damn. Oh, fucking concert tickets were like fifteen hundred. Oh shit! Eight hundred. Yeah. Food Man. nosebleeds. They making they making money. Bro. Make it. They're like, hey, no vamos a hacer un concierto y que agarramos. <laughs> like, fuck it, dog. We're gonna do a great more. We're just gonna do one, fool. So just Hell charge yeah. it up. Hell and yeah. fools, they went. Yeah, that's And crazy. and you don't ever hear reviews or anything. Yeah. Nobody even said anything about that concert. Like, no, uh -huh. that shit was a dope ass concert. You don't. It, they, everyone was just quiet. Yeah, everyone was like, quiet, no, yeah. like I want to talk about it, dog. I spent fifteen hundred. You know what I'm saying? That's probably what it was. Damn. Motherfuckers ain't trying to talk about that shit. You know, they're like, hey, dog, fuck that shit. I spent 1500 Fuck that concert, dog. Fuck Bookies. I'm oh, Jesus shit. looking motherfucker. If <laughs> I see him, <laughs> it's on sight with oh, that motherfucker. Shit. That's just funny. Bro. But yeah, dog, hey, and all the concerts, everything's going up, fool and price. Yeah, everything's going up. I went to dude. fucking Tams. You yeah. fuck with Tams? Tams, burgers, Tams burgers. Ah. I fucking went, dog, and I just got a little bit of shit, and it was like sixty bucks. I was like, what? damn, what the fuck did I get? I was like, hey, you sure? <laughs> I told her, I was like, hey, you sure you got my order right? And she's like, yeah, you got this, this, and that, and that. And I was like, yeah. She's like, yeah, fucking sixty two one. <laughs> I was like, God damn. Yeah. Hey, take off. Um, <laughs> you start taking shit <laughs> start off. Like at the off, grocery yeah. store, like you yeah, know, yeah. I don't need this fucking bread. <laughs> Throw that shit back there. Yeah, put the mangoes away. And you know what I'm saying? I at you, at I the store. You. But hey, fool! I was like, "Fuck, dog!" Peeling motherfuckers at Tams. Yeah. Everything the gas, the gas is starting to go down, but it it's is. still high as fuck. It's still high, yeah. It's what high. was that one fool? He said, "Motherfucking gas prices are so high, you think they're low." Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> dog, it, it, it's like, nah, Looking fool, good. shit's going down. Yeah, it is going down. Fuck. I saw, I saw that today. Actually, I was like, oh shit. Went down from six dollars to five something. All right, Dick. You I say? worked at fucking Brentwood this whole past week. All right, and fucking uh, prices out there. They're peeling the rich fools, oh, yeah? but they don't care. They're like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Fuck, yeah. fill it up. <laughs> Motherfuckers are rich. Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These motherfucking. We, I was at a pad fool. Yeah, we worked at the MLB All Star House. Yeah. So these fools, um, it's like where they were gonna have part like. After the All Star parties or after the All Star game, whatever they're gonna party at this fucking at this at this house or oh, really? fools that are in town for the party, they go and party at this house. They had little events for them. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we were in and we worked these fucking events. Yeah. And fucking they had they had all this shit. I forgot where the fuck I was going with this fucking story about the fucking <laughs> That's where how I was you know working. We, we're, good. we're talking about Brandon. <laughs> we're we're oh good. the gas <laughs> prices. But, oh yeah, so I worked out there and it's fucking. Big ass fucking pads, fool. Yeah. Like mansions, straight up. And but nobody lives at the houses. And I'm and I we we're fucking working right there. And we mm. seen a man. And we're like, what's up? With, what's up? Why why is all these houses empty? He's like, oh well, a lot of these houses, um, people just rent them out for events. Oh, so motherfuckers don't even live there. Like all these Dang. big, the he's all the rich people that own these houses. They live in, in where the rich people live, like Calabasas <laughs> and oh, shit. these fucking, uh, like communities he's all yeah, they're yeah. fucking every house is 40 million plus and he's all Damn. these houses are like 20 million but oh, if you live over here they're like oh no, he ain't, like that fool don't he got money but he don't got money money nah. you know so a lot of fools are like oh we're moving over here this is how these houses they just rent them out Damn. for big ass events fool Damn. so like they'll have like the grammy after party yeah, 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 at yeah. these fucking cribs but they fucking go all out for these parties fool Damn. like catering Wow. Fucking, a fucking light stage, a motherfucking yeah. magician, a yeah. fucking screens playing all this shit. Ba they Damn. had batting cages at the moment. Like, who's what? gonna be in the middle motherfucking party? Like, hey, dog, I'm gonna go hit the batting cages right now, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck? <laughs> but, they them, bro, but they had them, dog. But you know, bro. they had them. The only fools that were doing it was all the workers. Like, yeah. motherfuckers were right there hitting uh, the pitching yeah. machine. Cause they had a pitching machine. Fools are trying to fucking let me see how fast I get it, dog. <laughs> see if the scouts are looking, fucking looking around like the dog. scouts. Are and fool, hey, fool I, dog, I was trying to throw that shit. I couldn't get that shit. I was fool, slow ass pitching. I was like, am I fucking doing it wrong? What the fuck? These fools are hitting eighty fucking miles an hour, or oh, the fool, shit. the real pitchers hit, hitting yeah, yeah. ninety. Well, I throw that shit forty. 
45. I was like, God damn, did anybody see? Like, make sure nobody seen that shit. I was like, something's wrong with the machine, dog. But it's hey, supposed to be a nine. Yeah, fool. It was. It, it, we were right there fucking partying, and then uh, they gave us a whole bunch of shit. That's like right. we took a whole bunch of fucking this random shit home. MLB. Like it ain't even just. Damn. We were looking for the Dodgers. Yeah, yeah. I was like, where's the motherfucking Dodger shit? I don't care if it's a small, large, size thirteen. I want that motherfucker. I'm gonna take it to the motherfucking house. But fool, we fucking. They were just the ladies were like, get whatever the fuck you want, and Damn. fucking we did. Some fools were like. Oh, grab a T-shirt. You guys got an extra large. Like, dog, just get whatever the fuck. She's like, <laughs> she's like, get all this, or it's all getting thrown away because we're not gonna fucking put Damn. it up on the freight. And I was like, what? And fucking, it, fools were sleeping on it. And then they see me like, hey, this motherfucker has a box. <laughs> like, oh, let me start uh, grabbing yeah. shit and fucking. Uh, yeah. I got, I got T-shirts, fucking jersey, San Diego, fucking Padres, yeah. motherfucking uh, my, the Marlins, okay. all this fucking shit, shirts, girl okay. shirts, sandals. Nice fucking friend. but badass ones with air on the bottom <laughs> like oh That's shit right. hey dog if it's a fucking sandal with and then on the <laughs> bottom has air like an air bubble you know it's good yeah, like yeah, no yeah. It's, i'm gonna I'm wear them and we scored though you know because uh we have family from mexico that came in yeah and i hooked them up with some shit like hey, take that shit back you know motherfuckers are gonna Hell be out yeah. there flossing Hell like yeah. oh i got a new la fun the fucking shirt what's crack yeah. Yeah, these are Texas Ranger sandals, but we're good, you know? <laughs> Shit, hey, but That's brand right. new ass sandals. Hell yeah, yeah. Badass one. So Hell I was able yeah. to hook it up. Just a whole bunch of random ass shit. And then the best okay. part, in the night, they were like, hey, uh, all this fucking alcohol, you guys can take that <laughs> the shit. The best part. And I, was, I know how. They're like, damn, I, I was good with the fucking <laughs> with the Dodgers shirt. No, but we, they fucking gave us all the alcohol, fool. So Damn. they had fucking beers, bottles, wine, oh, motherfucking shit. cans of uh, fucking bottles of everything, all the Damn. beers. So I, they're like, hey, you've been here the fucking longest. You could fucking you could get all the beer. So I told it. I even told my dad. So I told the lady, get the motherfucking dolly. <laughs> And, and yeah, dog. And then the, la right. the lady, you said I'm gonna get the, the lady is like, the lady laughs. She's like, ha, ha, ha. and I was like, right there, I was like, no, nah, for real, get this motherfucking dolly, dog. And she's like, That's what? Right. I fool. I went and got the dolly dog boxes. Boom, boom, twenty four pack. Back, back. My fucking truck was all low. I can just. <laughs> Everything right here covered with pure beer. I'm yeah. just driving like this. Like, fool, that That's shit was right. stacked, dog. But I got fucking these little bottles of uh, like these little shots. Yeah. Like um, they have, they're like spiked drinks. Yeah. With um, they have all this fucking. It's like vodka, but food. The little bottles are like this food, ten percent each. Oh That's shit! That's just like a buzz ball. Oh damn! You know, fucking the buzz balls, yeah, motherfuckers be getting lit yeah. off of those shits. <laughs> hey, buzz nah. balls. That's another one. Yeah. In the morning, you wake up like, hey, dog, what was I doing yesterday? Dick? <laughs> my, I don't. I woke up with no shirt on. <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> I I fucking, I was in my backyard. Dick, what the fuck? <laughs> you drop me off. You know what I'm saying? When you get all yeah. fucked up, that's those. So yeah, I, yeah, that's yeah. what that shit is. <laughs> but I got fucking like ten motherfucking boxes of those, Damn. and they were like, up, they're huh? like, well, how are you gonna do it? I was like, oh, I told the shuttle, hey, because we had to take a shuttle for up there in Brentwood, dog, the whole hill. Yeah, you you can't smoke up there, fool. What? Why? You can't smoke, dog. Why? You if you fucking smoke or have a bonfire at your crib, they'll fucking give you a ten thousand dollar fine, dog. What? And fool, That's crazy. and you're like. You fuck all this fucking fatty out for this crib and I can't yeah. fuck a motherfucking dog. That's why you get it. Like, I'm gonna get this house full. I'm gonna fucking smoke a blunt yeah, right yeah, at the fucking yeah, front. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Exactly. Nah, right there. Bleep. Hey, what's up? What's that in your hand? Oh, fucking shit. cigarette. And Sadio? dog, one Damn. of the fucking workers was sneaking behind the dumpster and he had a cigarette uh. lit, thinking that, and the fucking security rolled up on him. Bleep. What's going on, guy? I was like, Damn. Because you don't see no cops, fool. Oh, and shit. then this motherfucker was trying to sneak a cigarette and they pulled up on him like, damn. We we're like, hey, what the fuck? Is there a camera up in this motherfucker? Uh, How did this fool get seen? That's crazy. So up there, fool, Brentwood, dog, just to warn you motherfuckers that are trying to ball out and get a motherfucking house in Brentwood, <laughs> in the canyon, you can't, you can't smoke, fool. You oh, can't damn. have bonfires. You can't have nothing. Damn. That because you could light the whole canyon on fire. Oh shit! But I'm like, all oh, you fools, were, they, there's fatty out there, no motherfucker, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you guys <laughs> could yeah. put, you know, it, it ain't, it ain't gonna hurt. Yeah. These big ass yards, like, 
But yeah, fool. So you can't fucking smoke nothing. That's so they crazy. would they would give us a shuttle. Definitely not moving to Brentwood. Yeah. So we're not <laughs> motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? Because we were thinking about it. You know what I'm saying about moving over there. But we, you know we changed our minds. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, fool. So we had to take a shuttle yeah. from the crib where we were working down to the place to the parking lot. Yeah. And we would fucking we'd go to the parking lot. We'd fucking you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I got my fucking. Uh, the, I got the shuttle and all this shit that I took, I just shit filled the shuttle, fool. Packed it. <laughs> oh, shit. Pa- I was the only motherfucker right there <laughs> with bags shuttle. and boxes of shit. Like oh, everyone shit. had like one t-shirt and a 12 pack. I was like, all right, cool, motherfucker. I st- hey, can you get up? You know what I'm saying? Get out the way real quick. Fool, so much fucking shit. And not even playing. I took two trips. I took one trip and then I was like, cool, lunch break. I'm doing it all over again. And then fucking again, we went again, fool. And uh, they're like, you're going to take all that, Tom? I was like, yeah, ain't nobody going to take it. And at the end, I was still looking around for shit like, hey, you going to take that jacket? And they're like, yeah. I was like, all right, cool. Because that shit's going if you're not. Fool, I was looking for shit. I was like, what's up? Because, fool, they had jackets. And then I could have got jackets at first. And now I'm like, now that I sit here and think about it, I'm like, Man, I should have got some fucking jackets, dog. <laughs> Cause fuck, that's the only shit I didn't get, dog. And those shits were like two hundred bucks. Oh, I know, those jackets and, are expensive, and, bro. But and I got that shit. And I'm like, I'm gonna sell that shit, fool. Ain't nobody selling that shit, dog. <laughs> that shit's just gonna sit there in the back bags that I have it, and just it's gonna be right there. Hey, yeah. you guys want a shirt? I got two shirts, fool. Take three of them, dog. You know how you try that's to give right. a shit away? Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be me for the next three months. Baseball <laughs> shit. That's right. I took baseballs. Like a pack of baseballs. I don't nah. give a fuck. Yeah, oh, fool, everything. <laughs> give me. I was like, throw it on. They're like, hey, we got this. I was like, throw it. Give me. Motherfucking mascot of fucking Hell the yeah. Padre. Throw that motherfucker in here. The box. Yeah. Boxes, yeah. dog. <laughs> then the fucking next day. Uh, okay. Nah, the next nah, day. Nah, I, just fucking, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I took the next day. And then they fed us, fool. I'm like, man, call me back when you guys got work at this motherfucker again. I want to be here next year. That's right. I was like, you guys got work at the motherfucking All Star again next year. Call me, motherfucker. I want to be right there, <laughs> head of the show. Let me know. But yeah, fool, we got everything. That, all That's these right. fucking fool, rich people, they don't give a fuck. They don't. They're we rich. had, well, we were right there working, and then the next door neighbors, they're like, yeah. hey, we had a party, but uh, we have fucking extra catering. Do you guys want it? Oh hell and yeah! And they're like, yeah, fool. <laughs> they brought fucking like two tables full of fucking different meats oh, motherfucking prime rib. Fool, <laughs> fucking tri-tip tacos tri-tip, yeah, like, oh, tri-tip tacos on, motherfucking bro. ribs like all this bomb ass shit and oh, then a shit. charola yeah with carne asada and chicken oh. but fool they had like a big ass charola like the big ones yeah full of 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 uh, guacamole damn and then fucking all the other shit but i was like damn motherfucker you're giving this away how big was the fucking party i know imagine because dog there was so much shit and their fucking beers like they don't give a fuck dog they're just like hey we're having this party we, they fucking buy all the shit and and to us we're like damn trip yeah, they, the fuck they out over buy they don't shit. give a yeah, fuck they they're like hey no. take this shit or it's going in a dumpster <laughs> and i'm like That's well right. fucking I'm, I'm gonna come is it cool to bring my car up here and fucking fill the motherfucker more, <laughs> yeah, with more yeah, shit yeah. i was gonna go on my day off i was gonna go back <laughs> hey is there is there any more shit over there i want to take a drive they're like nah That's you're right. good you took it all yesterday That's i'm right. like fuck it but yeah, dog. You, hey, I don't give a fuck. I'll throw yard sale. Hell yeah! I'll be uh, buy my. The best things in life are free, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Pet bulls or whatever the fuck. When, whenever you get a dog, <laughs> and you get a dog and they give it to you, that's yes. that's the best dog the ever. Best fool. dog ever. Hell yeah! Ends up being, and then when you go and buy a dog, you be like, "Dig, that was so much away." You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah, you. Uh, oh, so, so yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like, oh, who ran away, <laughs> he dog? Ran away. You're like, dig. <laughs> does someone cost you three hundred? Be like, yeah, like. <laughs> Damn, okay. but, but for real, huh? You no, know what I'm saying? Right, you get a, right. you pay for a motherfucking dog. That fool runs away or gets killed. Yeah, motherfucking dies. Motherfucker gets parvo. Yeah, all the Mexican, <laughs> all the motherfucking Mexican dog get parvo. Look at me, and all he got parvo. Dog, You're like, hey, fool, the last dog died from that. <laughs> well, they didn't put bleach in the yard, fool. I'm like, fool, or or not? Be like, I thought you put bleach in the yard, dude. Like, I guess it didn't work, fool. Like, fuck, that fool died from parvo funny. too. That's just funny. You're right. Though. All the pet bulls get fucking parvo too. You get a pet bull from somebody at Venice Beach or somebody, what happened to him? He got parvo, dick. <laughs> Fuck. That's why. But when somebody gives you a dog, that motherfucker yeah. be around. I have a dog. Oh, yeah. My dog, Donna. Yeah. That bitch is like 14, fool. I think she. Oh, it, it, oh, was, shit. It, was just her, it was just her birthday. I think it was on a. 
I think she's 14, 13 <laughs> or 14. She's 14. She's like 13 or 14. <laughs> I, I forgot how old <laughs> she is now. I'm like, damn, how old is this bitch? But yeah, food, they gave her to me. Because oh, fool, uh, my little nephew, he called me one day and he's like, hey, we're on our way to the dog pound. My yeah. friend's giving, he's going to take his this little dog. He's like, well, she's cool, dog. She, she's, she's a tiny ass little dog. Yeah. I was like, what? They're going to take her to the dog pound? He's like, yeah, fool. Like, nobody wants her. I was like, well, fucking send me a picture of that bitch. <laughs> and fool, it's, it's fucking, she said, he sent me a picture and I just seen this little dog. I was like, what? Let me see. Bring her to the crib. <laughs> and fool, she rolled up and yeah. he put her on the grass and she started, she rushed me, fool, barking. Dang. And I was like, all right. She's mine. She's ready. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. This bitch Fucking is leave her here. You know what I'm saying? And fool, that that's my dog Donna. Fool, that's all right. the homies know her. Oh, that is. Fool, that bitch. She's bit all my homies. Fool. <laughs> like that's the initiation. My right homie. There, huh? One time, my homie's like, "Hey, you need to take her to the dog pound, dog." I was like, "Fuck you!" This fool jumped my fence at like two in the morning, and my dog bit him. Fool, well, yeah. And he's like, "But she bit morning. me, dog." I was like, "Fool, you you were it was two in the morning." He's like, "But she knows me." I'm like, "I don't give a fuck." She's doing her job, motherfucker. This one trying to take her. He's like, I'm gonna take her. I was like, take her, motherfucker. Get bit again. But hey, yeah, funny. this one tried to tell me, hey, you gotta put her down. I was like, nah, fool. She she's doing her job. Yeah. But yeah, fool Donna, oh gee, ass dog, fool. Everyone knows about Donna. Damn. Her fucking my homie's like, you owe me like three Jordans, fool. <laughs> my fucking, and he's like, he'll just send me pictures of the tongue all fucking ripped. I'll be like, hey, you shouldn't have been fucking. She was close to your foot. Maybe you try to kick her. You know how you always try to defend her. Yeah. But yeah, fool. So th that dog, they gave her to me, dog, and she's Damn. been here ever since. That's fool. Right. And that's, that's why right. the best ones are the ones that get they give them to you. Yeah, a fucking Definitely. dog Definitely. or some shit. Always, or a, car, or, a or a car, or a car. I'm like, no, el Michael todavía tiene el perro, el el carro que le dieron. We're like, fuck, you still have that shit. I remember yeah, I was yeah. in eighth grade when they gave it to you, dog. We're like, fuck, fuck we yeah. still in that motherfucker. Fuck I'll pick yeah. you up in it. <laughs> fuck yeah. For all that shit, dog. They ever gave you so a dog or anything like yeah. that? Yeah. I, mean, I I still have the dog. I just got a dog like probably like a year ago. Yeah, so he's like half husky and half um, German Shepherd. He's bad, but he's he's good. He's Hell good. Yeah. He's a good dog, but he he's fuck, bro. It's been a little journey with him, but but he's there, you know. Why, he's he's crazy? The, oh, no, no, he's not that crazy. He's just like three seconds. If you leave like a piece of steak or something on the on the like, I gotta put oh, this full away. You I gotta, gotta put, put this full away before I put all the the food on the table because this full within three Don't seconds that shit's it. done. That shit's gone. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> for you, hey, you get all mad, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, just, I just fucking cooked this cook, this fucking piece of steak and you just took it like that. Like fuck. Fool or, or the fucking yeah, dogs be fucking eating everything. Dog, yeah, my bro. dog, I'll I'll just feed her, and then <laughs> if you want, if you need some shit, she'll be like, "What's cracking?" You guys got food. The homies will be like, "Hey, dog, hey." Full feed your dog. She's hungry. I'm like, this bitch just ate. <laughs> Fuck. This Fuck motherfucker yeah. still fucking search. She'll fucking Fuck open up yeah. a pizza box. She'll fucking rip the trash full. If there's a, y'all leave the trash bag outside. Yeah. Like oh, I'm gonna take it later. Yeah. yeah. I'll forget about it and it'll be right there. I'll come back out. The shit I have a hole will be everywhere. I'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Looking for some food. Nah. I see. just find Donna's little fucking tail <laughs> sticking out the hole in the bag. I'll be like, damn bitch, you're still inside. Nah, look, I had a pizza and I thought if I close it, this food ain't gonna get to it. You know, like I'm yeah. gonna leave it right there. I had like three or four slices. I literally left for maybe five seconds, bro. Went to go to the to the fridge to get something to drink. Came back. This fool already had the box open, flipped over, already gone, already gone with three pieces, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm hey, like, what, what the, the fuck? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Dog, God damn. That's how it is. <laughs> Donna, hungry, dr bro. Donna will fucking knock over a beer. <laughs> she would like, give me this motherfucking beer. <laughs> oh, your dog drinks beer? Yeah. Nah, bro. It, well, it, <laughs> my homie gave her beer fucking around and she yeah. likes it. Nah. So now she knows that, oh, these cans with that shit is, that shit are like, <laughs> So she'll fucking, she'll go, she'll be walking right. and she'll kick a beer over like, hey, nothing? All right, cool. She'll keep going. But if it's something, she's on what it. Yeah, dog. She, right. fucking Donna's the OG as fucking little dog, fool. That's I'm right. telling you, she's bad. She's That's a little, right. uh. She's definitely your dog. She, yeah, fool. She's a little pet. She's a little, uh, she's a pug and a beagle mix. Oh, shit. So okay. she's little, fool, yeah, but yeah, yeah. she's down, dog. She, she, <laughs> she's she's fought with any dogs. One time That's I came right. home and uh, my homie lived with me. He had a pit yeah. bull. Yeah. And then we had a pit bull, too. Yeah. Uh, Two big ass pit bulls, fool, and yeah. she, we came back one day and they were all bloody. <laughs> 
We're like, oh <laughs> shit. We're like, fuck. And we looked at Donna. She was all bloody too. Oh, we're like, crap. what the fuck happened? They jumped her ass. <laughs> so we fucking went <laughs> food, and we ass. showered the dogs food. And yeah. the only ones with cuts was was the pit bulls. Oh, and she was right there. Oh, what's up? Like, <laughs> no cuts, food, nothing. Just the pit That's bulls right. were cut. They had blood. Like they were the only ones that got wounded in the motherfucking yeah. fight, dog. That's right. But. She used to go out with my pit bull every day. Like, right. everyone knew. Like, hey, they're cool right now, but you're going to hear, start hearing them growl and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every party Dang. that I would have at my house full, like, straight up fight. Like a motherfucking Dang. pet bull fight. Ah! <laughs> In the middle, everyone's like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> the beer's going, the chair's fucking falling over. Damn. The DJ turns off the music. <laughs> hey, what the fuck's going on, dog? <laughs> it's fucking, right. it's nuts, fool, at yeah. the crib. When when we have parties, well, not no more, but when fucking, <laughs> when, when Stella, when, <laughs> not no more. Not because the pebble, <laughs> the pebble died, fool. Oh, damn. But she was bad, too. Stella was OG. Well, the last they would fight all the time, every day, fool. And then the last days, cause she got sick, fool, and hey. had to take her in the morning to the hospital. Yeah. But they still got their last little fucking what's up with it, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> she was all sick, fool, like laying down, so I had to put a blanket on her and pick her up. Yeah. And then Donna rolled up to her like, "Hey, what the fuck was cracking with you? Like, where are you going?" She was all smelling her, and then she's all licking her because I was gonna take her, and then she hit her with the fucking. <laughs> and, and Stella couldn't even move and shit. Oh, shit. She was just like. <laughs> I was like, man, you better kill. You can't even move. And then we took That's her to like, the fucking hospital, dog. Yeah. And then fucking, I was right there at the fucking vet, and they're like, hey, we can't do shit for her. We have to put yeah. her down. And not even knowing, like, uh, my girl called me, and she's like, yeah. hey, what's going on with the dogs? I was like, fuck, because I just had to put her down. Like, we Damn. put her down right there. And then I was going to call my girl, but she called me, and she's like, what's going on? She's like, dude, Donna, like, won't stop howling. Damn. And she's like, she's just howling and crying all crazy. I was like, fuck. And I had to break the news down to my Damn. girl. Like, hey, I just had to put her down. Hey, she's that's like, crazy what? how dogs know. They know, bro. dog. Yeah, like, she know. knew that that's shit. That's crazy, bro. I tripped out. Like, hey, did, like, she fucking knew. Like, hey, did she, something happened. Or, yeah. But dog, she, my girl was like, hey, she's howling and it's all scary. Like, what the fuck's <laughs> happening? What's going on <laughs> right now? And shit, I told her, hey, she, I just had to put her down. Damn. And it was crazy, fool, you know? And, yeah. and uh, but yeah, those little dogs, like, they fucking day and night they would fucking be together yeah. but they would fucking fight every day Damn. but they didn't fuck with nobody else you would see fool I would be coming home from work or yeah. coming home some, one day and I would see I'll be like look at these two dogs and mm -hmm. I'd look up and hey those are my fucking dogs <laughs> fool, it would always That's be running right. away dog every every <laughs> fucking chance they got fool them motherfuckers oh, would run away fool, I went one time I went to my mom's cause we were going out of town yeah and I fucking went, dropped them off at my mom's house. I went to go fucking get ice and some shit at the liquor yeah. store. Coming back, I seen them. I was like, hey, fucking Donna, what the fuck? <laughs> they, they ran back into my mom's house. Damn. I'm fucking leaving. And then again, I was like, what the fuck? How'd they get out? The neighbor, like the fence next door, like yeah. if you hit it, it opened. Damn. But nobody knew, dog. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. like, how the fuck these dogs were here <laughs> five minutes and they knew <laughs> that shit. And that's how they were getting out. Yeah. And then they ended up fucking being cool. We figured it out. But, dog, those bitch, Donna's still to this day, fool. Anytime she gets a motherfucking chance to, to leave, she, she's she'll gone. get out. She's gone. Uh. She's getting out. <laughs> she's going. She doesn't care. <laughs> but, funny. yeah, fucking. That, we're not talking about the motherfucking dogs. <laughs> so, over here fucking saying some shit. <laughs> but, uh, but, no, let's, let's fucking uh, talk a little bit more about fucking you and, <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah. and, and your, your music and, yeah. like, what, like, what you're working on right now. What's, what's happening? Well, right now I'm in, the, I'm in the midst of recording more music videos. I just released uh, Que De Claro. I don't know if you, I tagged you on, on yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. posting. So that one just recently came out. But I'm working on more shit. I'm just releasing basically just singles right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not really, like, I have a, a pretty big portfolio, but we just want to give people content, content, yeah. content. You know what I'm Something saying? they can listen Something to for, can and not have to, to wait for the fucking yes, album, huh? Exactly. Like, fuck, just I hear it now. At least put one out every month or every other month, something. You that's know, cool. like, that's what we're working on right and, now. And you film the, like, the videos? Yeah, my boy, my boy AR, Spanky right there. The Hell yeah. There. He the one to do it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying everyone right here is part of the team. They do something for me. Hell yeah! No, it's like all your homies, like they, they yeah, these are like my everyone, brothers right here, man. We all, you got this. Is your team? You this guys, my team. You uh, guys there's, do there's something. Still, there's still a couple that are missing, but <laughs> you know, but this is the team right here. They get man. the ball, the, you know? the fucking machine running. Yeah, you know? they, everybody cool. does something valuable for me, man. You know, right here, man. 
So, That's cool. I mean, without them, I couldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? Still pushing. It takes so, a fucking team. You know, everyone, team. you know, from connections yes. to shit where you can be, yes. everything, it, 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 it all takes a, a uh, team. Team. When you yes. try to do it by yourself, that shit. Ah uh, man, sucks, you, you need bro. help. You know, it eventually. sucks. It's just too much for, especially for an artist. You know, like you're already worried about the music. You're already worried about what you're saying. Yeah. You know. Then on top, you gotta worry about the video. You gotta worry about promotion. You gotta worry about, you know, pushing this and pushing that. I'm like, if Dang. this was gonna show up, yes, if, if yes, that's exactly. right, does he have that? What's going exactly. on? Exactly. Like, yes. And it's it's like it's good to have yeah, some fucking way, help. Way and, way way easier when you have a team, bro. Fuck yeah. You know, and I'm ble- I'm I'm really blessed to have the people that I have, bro. Yeah. You know, I've been at this for a long time, been at this for maybe 10 years. Yeah. And up until recently is where I got my shot with uh, Artefino, man. Yeah. And, you know, like, I just want to tell everybody that whatever they're doing, if you, you're doing something you'd really love to do, it's a dream, don't stop. Because eventually, you know, it's inevitable for you to make and achieve that dream, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As the years keep going, you're going to progress. You're going to keep getting better. And even now, bro, like, even now, I still... So there's still much more I can learn, bro. You know, yeah. I always want to keep an open mind. You know, always go to different studios, pick up. Oh, this guy does this this way. He does it this way. You know, I can mix this and mix that, and I can make my own way. Yeah, always you know learning. Always, always learning. Keep always open learning. mind. Yes. Always learning. Yeah. Always learning, man. Always want to put that out there. You know, like because you you get you could get a fucking con- like a. You know, some some connection from from yeah. different people. Like, yeah. oh, this will taught me how to. I was doing it like this yes. the whole fucking time, and yeah. this will taught me like you could do yeah, it this yeah, way, yeah, or yeah, yeah. it. You and know, it's much faster. Or yeah, some shit, you know, better yeah. results, yes, shit like that. Exactly. Like, it's always good to exactly. learn and, and have an open mind. That's good. Yeah, man. Always, always want to have an open mind. And as far as the music, man, I always want to go with feeling. You know, like every song that I I, I put out. I put it out for a reason. I put it out because, you know, in one way in, or one time in my life, this is how I felt. Yeah. You know, it's hard to fake something that's 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 real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like, like you, you, I've yes, been through this shit. Yes, I feel this shit. Exactly. You could, you could tra- translate yes, it. Yes, exactly. So initially, when you hear music, like even Mexican music, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people think that's drinking music, but be- the reason why it's drinking music is because you're in your fields. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You then feel you start that feeling, shit. You feel you start, what this motherfucker's yes, saying because exactly. you've been through that exactly. shit. Exactly. So initially, that's what I want to do with my music. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. you hear my music, I want you to be able to relate. Be like, oh shit, I, I know what Skirzy talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So that's that's the main goal. I mean, other than that, it's just to have fun and to, you know, do what I love to do, man. This is music, me. Yeah, doing you know? something with what you love. You, yes. grew, this shit's in the blood. It's you in grew, the blood. Yeah, you grew up doing this shit, you know, and and it's it's nice, you know, to do some shit. You you know, your your family. I'm yeah. sure they're like, oh look, fucking yeah. this motherfucker. You know, we he, since he was little, he <laughs> yeah. did some shit, no, and yeah. he's doing some shit with the music. I'm yeah. sure they're happy. Oh yeah, I mean, I got you know, a lot, family. I got, I got a lot of support from my family, man. My uncle was my vocal coach. Oh, you know cool. what I'm saying? Like, even to this day, like, I still send him music. He's had all my music since I was, like, 16 years old, bro. And like, he has, oh, he has, he has it, all. it all. Yeah, that's cool. He has every cool. CD that I gave him, bro, and he doesn't let me hear it. I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you know? but that that's cool, you know, that... that <laughs> Like he he's he's that's love, dog. It is you know love. that it is love. And he, yeah. he he has all your music and yeah. he's able to help you with it. No, he's able. To, you, he he can see hear the growth. The yeah. growth. The growth is what it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's the growth from me 16 years old to now me 30. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been recording music since I was like goddamn 12, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You were just so, fucking with a four track all the way. You know where you had to record on a fucking tape. I would do the drums first and then. I would do the bass on top of that, yeah. and then do the guitar on top of that, and then, and then it, record and then it all record, together. Yeah, then record it all together to put it on one side, and then do do another yeah, track. Yeah, see, that's you, fucking dude. That's I was sick. dude. I was doing it all, dude. Like I, I, music in general is it's my life, and it is really the reason why I'm still alive. Honestly, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Music Got, really is kept you know, out of trouble. Kept me out of trouble. Did it? It, it still did to this day keeps me out of trouble. Yeah, you're like, oh, shit, I'm busy. I, I can't <laughs> exactly. go over there. I got to do a fucking gig. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's, good. That's what it Or is, I got to fucking go to practice yes, or shit like exactly, that. Exactly. And you, b- before you used to be in like little wandas and shit. Or, no, honestly, or it's always been it's mostly always been, just you. It's, it's always been just me with my pops, you know, and my uncles, you know, re- jamming out and all that. I've had bands and all that, but. What initially happened is, you know, growing in the body, you don't have that much money, man. And yeah. And studio time is expensive. Fuck yeah. You know? And so, then, and to even 
know where to go yes. to fucking the yes. like i don't know where the fuck yes. you know when exactly. you're a little kid like i don't know where they exactly. do recording studio exactly so initially what i did when i turned about i think it was 20 or 19 years old i met with this guy named um garrett douglas and he was an audio engineer yeah right so yo me puse truchas i was like fuck if i pay this guy and i look at what he's doing and then i if i really pay attention i can you know pick up some stuff yeah so that's what i did man yeah I, I paid him for his time and while he was mixing my stuff i was taking notes i was saying okay this he's doing this he's doing that you know and i kept doing that writing, writing it writing down writing down. it down and then eventually you know what i saved up money to get pro tools i saved up money to get my own you know speakers my own mic yeah you know and then eventually i was calling him to come to my studio yeah. you know come record, yeah, come record over here some shit. yeah come cool. record over here so then i can gain more knowledge you know and that that tripped him out and even to this day my my mentor bro he he's blown away from me he's like bro yeah. you know i showed you something and you just took off you yeah. know what i'm saying but initially when you want something enough you're gonna do whatever yeah it takes, you're gonna right? be like hey whatever yes. the fuck whatever i need to do so i literally bro i used to live in riverside so i would Go from Riverside all the way to Long Beach, Fuck. then go all the way back to Fullerton. Yeah. And I would do that almost every day, bro. Until, and, until I figured it out how to audio engineer. Then I was audio engineering myself. And then I figured, hey, if 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 I know this trade, I can make some money now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then I started my own little studio in my garage. Yeah. You know, my pops let me little have this little corner. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like a this, is your thing. this is your corner. You can do whatever you want with this corner, you know? That's right. So then me and my brother Abel, we 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 started working on it. I, I built my own booth, then started getting some clients and I began to audio engineer people for a living, man. And I started Oh, you so know, you started doing yes. like fools would bring yes. in their beats or yes. you would make beats for them? No, both, bro. Okay. Both, you know, but initially I, I was really just audio engineering, like just people coming through and they'd be like, Oh, you know, I got this song, all right, this how much and I started making money on the side. I had my nine to five, I would Wake up at four in the morning, get out at one thirty, and straight after one thirty, guess what I'm doing? I'm going Recording straight to the studio. Yes, I'm going booth. straight to. And I did that for almost five years straight, bro. Fuck you yeah. know, like just doing that until I figured it out in myself. I'm like, damn. Initially, I know I have an ear for music, but I want to have a job that is just music. Yeah. You know, like my goal was to wake up every morning and do music and, and do get music. paid yeah. and get paid for it. You know what I'm saying? Hell and yeah. I knew that when I saw this and I saw a little bit of bread, I was like, fuck. This is my way. This yeah. is my ticket. This yeah. is the way I can do what I love to do and be happy, you know? Yeah. Not dread every month. Fuck, I got to go back to that nine to five and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like oh, fuck, shit. Here we go again. Yeah, I got to hear fucking El Patron otra vez. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, nah, this time I woke up and, you know, I, I did what I love to do. And I'm, I am i don't like to toot my own horn, but I'm, I'm pretty good at it, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying? Now, yeah. now, you know, I, I did the time, you know, yeah. like now I, I'm actually really good at it. And now you, and you stay busy doing it. I stay busy and doing you, it. And that, like, now that you do that shit, like just music or you just like you do your own music now. i do my own music now like I, i'm now that i got this label behind me it's a little more yeah. serious you know yeah. like it, it, i like to put all my my time and effort into my music into, you, into my music but for a while bro i was doing the audio engineering and you know it it, it gave a little it's like a side hustle you know what i'm yeah. saying like that came through but i got really good at it bro i mix and i master and i like produce yeah you know what i'm saying that made me, you know, sharpen my craft, you know, yeah. by recording all these other guys. Now, when I record myself, dude, it's like that. Yeah, you, know? you, you already know uh, how yes. to, what's going yes. on, what to do, what exactly. to fix, yeah. what to fucking, yeah. Yeah, that's cool, exactly. that whole breakdown. Yeah. And even if you get it done by somebody else, maybe they miss something or you yes. want to add something, exactly. you, you know how to do it. Exactly. That's yes. cool. Yes, all around, just knowing, you know, knowing your craft, you know, anything you want to do. If you know your craft from the bottom all the way up, bro, there's no way you won't succeed. Yeah. You know? So I it's knew that. Work, work I knew that. At, that you know, at a young yeah. age, I knew that. So I was like, fuck, if I don't learn how to play the bass, if I don't know how to play the keyboard, there's no way that I'm going to freaking be a freaking producer. There's yeah. no way, you know? Yeah, because you I, always have to rely yes, on having somebody come else. in for that yes, shit. Or, exactly. Or having no, to you pay. Can do it. You're like, you cool. know, I'm like, now, dude, I can make a beat from the bottom up bro yeah you know i don't really need anybody i can do it myself yeah you know and initially that's what you want to do you don't want to need nobody and get your music out so i know for a fact that my team ain't worried about my music yeah 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 <laughs> it's more the worried about promo they're worrying about the video getting, the worrying, shit you know, out. getting that shit out right now you know yeah, so yeah and initially i worked very hard to be that way you know i worked very hard since i was a kid i invested my whole life to be where i'm at right now yeah like you know it's comes natural to you because of you're already used yes. to working yes. so hard at it. Yes, exactly. And that's cool, you know. Yeah, and, and 
Yeah, it, you know, fucking all the way to the top. You <laughs> I'm know? trying, I'm trying, bro. You That's know, every day, every day we get closer. Every day's a, you know, not not every day's a good day, but every day we do get closer. Yeah. You know, so. And is there people like that you, that you, like, uh, want like who you would like to fucking work with in the future? Man, you're, you're hoping not the, to. You're not the first one to tell me. Yeah. Honestly. My favorite guitar player is Carlos Santana. Yeah. And he's the reason why I even began, you know, like, yeah. oh, yeah, come over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, the Carlos way, is a how smooth, man. how smooth he just comes. He's got he so makes that much shit time. talk, huh? He makes it talk. It's so smooth. It's so, his timing is impeccable. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's the reason why I do my, that's the reason why I even call myself Crazy Santana. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, of Carlos him? Santana. Yeah. I thought you were from, from Santa Santana. Santana. Yeah. I, that's what hey, I thought hey, you were. Hey, I lo- thought you were I, from here. Hey, hey, a lot of people, hey, I, I love Santana. I have a studio in Santana. You know what I'm saying? My, a lot of my um, clients, they like Lottie the G, Doughboy Tony, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They're, they're from Santana. And, okay. You know, and I've done features for them, but I got a lot of love from Santana. So shout yeah. out to Santana. Yeah, yeah. Too, you know, where, where are but you I was, from? I'm born, I was born and raised in Fullerton, man. Fullerton. Yeah, you know, so yeah. a little up the street, but, you know, yeah, not yeah, too yeah. far, not too far, you know. Yeah, but, Fullerton. Yeah, Fullerton. I, I grew up born and raised there. I went to Fullerton High School. You know, went to middle school there, you know, like, that's that's where it was at, 339 East Ash, man. Fuck yeah, that's fucking tight. Give it up to fucking Fullerton. <laughs> that's right. Get a fucking the homie, fucking Drew, everyone, fucking Tokyo yeah. Town out there, that's fucking right. out there blazing it, <laughs> holding it down out there. You already know what that's it right. is. That's right. But yeah, that's, you know, I got uh, my homie Drew, he's he's yeah. from Fullerton. Yeah. I have buddies in, in fucking Fullerton, style, bomb ass food, yeah, good yeah. ass people, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, sure. and that, you know, it's, it's uh that's cool you grew up right here yeah man fucking- i'm just trying to put fullerton on the map we got some talent man i mean my guitar player right there lobo i mean he used to live across the street from me man yeah and he he the initially he came because he had just bought a guitar he got a guitar and he didn't know how to tune it and he okay. knew he seen me always outside my, my my front yard playing my guitar yeah so he's like i'm gonna take it to this guy because he knows i'll be able to tune it yeah so i started like that and you know, I was I witnessed his first solo, and now if you hear this fool, man, it's for Wells. And you guys you know been dogs ever since, yeah, huh? Yeah, he's been my bro ever since, That's man. He's tight. been there, you know. He's I've I've seen him grow as a, a musician, bro. It's been awesome just to to play next to him and just see the growth, bro. And and you, you know? teach how to play guitars yeah, and yeah. stuff I, like that. I, That's I, cool. I teach. I do. I do it all, man. Yeah. Even vocal coaching, whatever you know, what, whatever it takes. Whatever you can do what, with music, whatever I can do and make money. That's all I can yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's my craft. I know music. Music knows me. That's you know? cool. So hell yeah. And then uh, where where uh, where can like people reach you or see your music? Yeah, or, well, right now, or like if they want to well, contact you or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On IG, you can follow me. Excuse Santana. That's it. Simple. <laughs> yes. Screw Santana, all lowercase. Okay. <laughs> you know, all together. And you, you have like a YouTube or anything like uh, that? Well, or? YouTube, I'm using Artefino right now. So you okay. can look up uh, Artefino and you'll find my music there. But they could also look up Screw Santana. You can also Santana. look at Screw Santana and then you'll find all my features and all that stuff too. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? So. And then we'll also have all the links to uh, Screw Santana's links or whatever in the in the bio of the video. Same on. Uh, so you guys can listen. Right now, we're going to cut into commercial breaks. Let you guys know what keeps this machine running. Thank you. Suavecito smells insanely good. Meet Suavecito, the world's finest pomade with an unrivaled all day hold. No matter what your look is, we got you covered. Whether you want a softer, gentler hold, like a warm embrace from your abuelita, or a fiercely strong hold, when you're styled with Suavecito, you'll have everyone turning heads. We got thousands of reviews from guys who have thanked Suavecito for helping them land their dream job and their dream date with their dream do. Ready to transform your hair game for good? Click the link and pick up some of our award-winning superior pomade. Suavecito. Get it, hombre. Orale, motherfuckers! You already know what the fuck going on. Holding it down podcast with three plates, Tommy. We got Scrizzy Santana out here showing you guys what the fuck going on. Let's go. Hey, Puro Artefino. Que esto quede claro, nunca te engañen 
reina de muñecas nunca te fallé Pero nunca me arrepiento, no El amor sin prisca, a poco ya no me quieres, no El amor ya se acabó He tratado de olvidarte en memorias, no me dejan Labios que me matan, no los saco de la cabeza Fumando cada rato sin poder sacarte Agarrando la botella, tratando de olvidarte Drinking all this liquor cause I kinda figured I was in the picture Guess I was wrong Everyone's a sinner, thought I was a winner Always with it till she was gone Deja platicarte, yo soy hombre elegante Yo soy marihuano y a mi me vale madre Sea lo que sea, a mi me encanta el desmadre Esta vida la que vivo nadie va a poder pararme Poco pensa en esa vida que tu fueras a fallarme Sigo siendo ese hombre que nació para las calles Yo soy el mejor y nadie va a poder tocarme Nací en estas calles para poder levantarme Sigo siendo ese squeeze y es mejor que ya se calme Eso es todo lobo Claro, nunca te engaño Reina de muñecas, nunca te fallé Pero nunca me arrepiento, no El amor siempre es cajón ¿A poco ya no me quieres? No El amor ya se acabó He tratado de olvidarte en memorias No me dejan labios que me matan No los saco de la cabeza Fumando cada rato sin poder sacarte Arrando en la botella tratando de olvidarte And I was getting claro for you right there Cause it's todo lobo, let's try yo right now Seguro Estamos. It's another one out, guys. You guys look this up. Excuse me, Santana Artefino. Ahí vamos. Si hay mucha gente que no me quiere ver ganar. A mí me vale madre, siempre voy a luchar. Desde morro nunca me he echado yo para atrás. Siempre para adelante, nunca me voy a parar. Yo vengo de las calles que yo soy marihuano y yo soy toquero y a mí me vale mal. Yo soy el cholo en la calle de abajo. No me importa quién hable, yo sigo caminando. Yo soy el cholo en la calle de abajo. No me importa quién hable, yo sigo caminando. Coming from the bottom, always staying humble, never forget my roots. Haters talking shit 'cause they can't do what I do. Time is precious, so I gotta keep mine exclusive. Take it from my homie, grew up in the trenches Came a long way from hopping fences Motivation never forget to mention Always focus, focus on the mission I don't like to brag, but I'm on my way up Homies getting mad, I don't really give a fuck Fumando marihuana en el cielo, yeah, I'm stuck I mean, I don't really care what you say Sigo siendo feria, getting paid Still gonna follow my dreams all oh, way, hey, oh, hey. Hay mucha gente que no me quiere ver ganar. A mí me vale madre, siempre voy a luchar. Desde morro nunca me he echado yo para atrás, siempre para adelante. Nunca me voy a parar. Yo vengo de las calles que yo soy marihuano y yeah, yo. Soy toquero y a mí me vale mal. Yo soy el cholo en la calle de abajo. No me importa quién hable, yo sigo caminando. Yo soy el cholo en la calle de abajo. No me importa quién hable, yo sigo caminando. Échale.
Eso es todo, Herra. Es todo. You want to try naranjas? All right, this, is, this song is for everyone that's from the OC. It's called Naranjas. It's not out yet, but we're going to give you a little taste of it. Let me know when you're ready, Herra. This was also written, written by yours truly, Troop Nasty. If he's on the feed, it's all you, Cat Night. Gracias for this song. You ready? Naranjas. Échale, rascale. Soy de la naranja y así se va a quedar Me gusta fumar mota, me voy a elevar Soy de las calles, no cualquier cosa me espanta Eso es el detalle que soy el que manda Soy de la naranja y así se va a quedar Me gusta fumar mota, me voy a elevar Soy de las calles, no cualquier cosa me espanta Eso es el detalle Soy el que manda You ain't even gotta ask where I'm from Homie, I'm from Orange County Always with my homies If you trippin' in a second They can get rowdy Gotta pay the consequences If you levers ever wanna talk about me Got the 40 on me Let it rip real quick Slip, dip, and I'm outy Everything I do is big All my chains are big All my moves are big Don't you know You gotta be quick You gotta be swift You know I'm the shit And it's so Big dogs and big balls Get crisscross along the way Got big guns Smoke big blunts I'm a sick fuck We don't play Put yourself in my shoes Bet money it won't last a day Got a chip on my shoulders Nowadays I don't even pray Street sweeper in the trunk Pull it out Let it spray ARs and AK. Soy de la naranja y así se va a quedar Me gusta fumar mota, me voy a elevar Soy de las calles, no cualquier cosa me espanta Eso es el detalle y soy el que manda Soy de la naranja y así se va a quedar Me gusta fumar mota, me voy a elevar Soy de las calles, no cualquier cosa me espanta Eso es el detalle so it's a little rap. Naranjas for you all for everybody that's OC natives. We got time for one more, Tommy. What you think? Yeah, let's get all right, we do one more. What do you guys which one you guys do? Cholo? Whatever one you want, brother. Let's do cholo. Wanna do cholo? Let's swap. Swap. Let's do cholo. <laughs> all right. If you guys don't know what these guys are doing right here, these guys are my lead man. They do all the leads. You got you got Herra right here, and we got Novo de Madroso. So, we're gonna do a song called Cholo for you guys. Caminando en el barrio con un frago que no me falta nada. Yo vengo de San Clica que le dicen toqueros. Tengo muchos carnales que ya están muertos. Saludos a soldados, quiero su vida. La vida de un cholo no perdona, solo Dios nos controla. Siempre con ruchas cuando ando en el barrio. Si tú me tiras. De volada yo respondo 
yeah, yeah. Yo no ando con mamadas, mi gente bien armada Soy parte de la clica de los solos, no se espantan Cuando estoy en el barrio, mi mamá siempre rezando Pidiendo a Dios que regrese a su hijo vivo Yo soy solo Yeah, ese es el lobo, carajo. Brought to you by Arte Fino. He's not a cholo, just on the weekends. <laughs> And only when he's performing. <laughs> rascale, rascale, ahí va. So oh, that was Cholo for you guys. Yeah, thank you guys. Nah, thank you. We're right here. <laughs> We're right here. Yeah. What's up, everybody? <laughs> you guys just tuned in with Scrizzy Santana and the boys. That's right. Thank you guys for watching our episode. Tune in to Scrizzy Santana on all platforms, anywhere you can find them. We're going to have all the links down here for you guys to check them out. And once again, dog, thank you no, guys thank you, for man. coming out no, here. No, thank you, bro. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you know. got fucking tore it up. You motherfuckers are bad as fuck <laughs> on the guitars. You already know. For a good time, look up Scrizzy Santana on YouTube, on anywhere. And you know what I'm saying be looking at him for the next show. That's thank you guys. This is episode four in the motherfucking house holding it down. Thank you guys. <laughs>